second did i did i make a blunder like yesterday or is my voice audible i think it's audible it's audible so all those who are at home and are trying to improve at chess and finding it difficult i think dr chess is a way in which you can communicate with me speak with me uh, and try to get your doubts clarified related to chess so this is the eighth episode we have it on every thursday and a warm welcome to everyone who's in the in the show and can hear me well okay so <clears throat> let's begin uh, with this i was actually spending some time trying to fix the queue uh, bot i don't know what was the uh, issue like the queue bot was not working um, i can i can share the screen if someone uh, knows the technique please let me know so yeah so that's my discord and this is my Q bot, which is above uh, Dr. Chess. But somehow the Q is not forming here. Uh, and I have no idea if, if someone uh, knows how to, you know, refresh the Q, please let me know. <clears throat> yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I am feeling better. Yes, very much. Uh, and I think my voice is pretty good uh, today. So we are here for some very interesting uh, <clears throat> stuff so stay tuned and we'll i think from others problems related to chess even you can hear okay i'm going to wait for a bit if someone can help me how to refresh the queue i was trying to message something like uh, exclamation and queue and uh, it says that it will show the current queue in the appointment lobby but i'm just not able to get the list like this it only shows me one name mayank parap okay maybe if uh, until that time uh, until we can fix it uh, i would start and I think I will I will begin with uh, the first person whose name I can see here, Mayank Parab. And maybe uh, in that way we can get this rolling. Yeah. So that's the plan. Uh, D appointment lobby. No, I think it's uh, exclamation Q appointment lobby, but it, uh, ah, okay, maybe something, yeah. Invalid. Ah, okay, because it has a different kind of a, uh, make here maybe i can copy this let's see if i'm if i'm smart enough to solve this not sure not sure what i'm doing but created queue it says but i can't i can't find the queue Yeah, I, I did I did copy it, but somehow it says created queue, but I can't see the queue. I mean, it should it should come like in this form. not not so sure how to how to get this but use ah okay oh fantastic fantastic this is keith maskerenas 
Keith, you are you are the person who is responsible for making today's show perfect. I'm going to get Shrikant Naik in first. Thank you so much, Keith, for solving this. Uh, so amazing. I didn't know this uh, that uh, D would uh, be the one. So I would uh, disconnect here and let's let's get uh, Shrikant Naik and let's begin. Couldn't have happened without Keith. So shout out, Keith. Thank you. Okay, let's go here. And uh, let me unmute myself here. Hello. 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 Uh, Hello. One second. Let me let me just fix your uh, sound. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Can you say something? Uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Your sound is audible. Yeah. So I'll switch on my video, right? Yes. Shrikant uh, Nayak. Is it fine? Yeah, hi Shrikant. Yeah, hello sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Bangalore. Bangalore? Yeah. Okay, tell us about yourself. How how did you start playing chess? What What's your chess strength? What do you do now? Yeah, like I'm in 11th now. Okay. Uh, so I started like my dad was playing chess and then I got inspired from him, like from childhood. Okay. And then I left like in uh, like three, four years ago, I left chess and then because of Samai and you and Vidita, they got back into chess. Fantastic. And uh, do, do you... What's your rating online? Yeah, online rating I have around 2000 on chess.com oh. and then uh, and I have like 1300 rating in three days. Oh, you're 1300 rated. Fantastic. Fantastic. So how can I help yeah. you? Sir, so first of all, like uh, I had this opening problem from black side. Mm. So uh, I did some research and then uh, like nothing was suiting for me. I tried the Philly door first and then like I was getting crushed. Then I started playing Petrov, and then like uh, Petrov, it was too drawish. Okay. And then uh, so I switched to this uh, C six D six Queen C seven line, mm. the one which uh, you showed once. Uh, C six. The C six D six Queen C seven E five. Okay. Uh, mm. and then Bishop G four Knight D seven Knight F six. Ah, I showed in some video this this idea. Oh yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, sir, I had a problem in that opening. Ah. So one problem was that, uh, sir, so there were two options. So one is you go bishop e7 and then castle. Okay, well, let me... Sir, but then the opponent goes, the opponent goes knight d2, knight f1 and then uh, knight g3. Uh, can you, can you see my screen? Uh, one minute, so... Uh... Yes, sir, I can see it. You can see the board, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, let's see if we can discuss this problem with specific moves because that would be much better. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so tell me the moves. Uh, like E4, D6 e4 d6 uh, d4 c6 d4 c6 okay uh, knight of three queen c7 really did i make a video on this i don't believe it maybe, uh, maybe like in the opening session you just showed the idea uh, okay maybe maybe it was more uh, like d6, d6, queen c7. more like e4, e4. Uh, like this this and e5 this is what i i would have told Sir, but the thing in this opening is the structure is uh, like simple. So you just play c6, queen, c7. Okay. I'm... And then uh, bishop g4, knight d7. Okay, here. Now what, what should uh, white do? Uh, sir, you can play anything like bishop e2 or knight c3. Okay, or knight c3. Or c4. Now? Uh, and, uh, like e5 break. Okay. 
then uh, you can either push the pawn or take it is uh, like it doesn't matter so you go bishop c4 or bishop e2 or anything okay uh, then uh, knight f6 okay uh, then castle mm. sir, sir so the, the problem is here mm. now i have uh, two strategies one is uh, you go bishop g4 bishop g4 is like a must and then and then now uh, to develop sir like do you go bishop e7 or then or uh, i had an idea like the king's indian you go g6 bishop g7 yeah well in general i would sir, problem... say that g6 bg7 is a little bit too ambitious here in this position because you've already spent a lot of time uh, putting your queen c6 d6 e5 so i think you should complete your development yes, faster sir. which is with bishop e7 and castles sir but the problem sometimes i face is that uh, once uh, i exchange the bishop with the knight then the knight on uh, like if he went knight d2 he goes rook e1 knight f2 a knight f1 and then knight g3 and then my i don't have anything to protect the f5 square but f5 square becomes weak. yeah but you can always go g6 like for example it's a big plan it's a long plan by him let's say he goes rook e1 here um i don't know maybe just bishop e7 how can he go with this plan let's say he must take on e5 uh, no no sir uh, instead of knight c3 imagine he went knight d2 okay let's say bishop e2 e5 knight d2 yeah knight yes, f6 castles bishop e7 or bg4 as you want to play but then how how do you continue like d yes sir then uh, uh, d and then rook e1 knight f1 yeah but in general i mean knight f1 castles knight g3 you you can go rook e8 always here and let's say you go h3 takes takes already i mean it's, i think it was so the f5 square is like, uh, you should have you should be careful with this pawn actually it's hanging knight f1 uh, maybe i can take so uh, i don't know how exactly you would uh, do you take on f3 here or do you go bishop h5 sir like when i play sometimes i play g6 so i cannot go bishop uh, h5 yeah. like i have to hit bishop f3 see i think this entire system which you are playing is kind of uh, confused uh, in a way because there are few things see first thing is e4 d6 d4 nf6 nc3 e5 this is the standard way to play the philidor system and i would say that this is much more common way like to reach what you are trying to do with this move order then you can go uh, c6 yes sir. it's like the black line yes exactly you can go through this move order or if you want to play this opening which you are saying i would say c6 here is a better move order but again here you have to be careful because white has a very attacking idea with f4 uh like if he goes knight f3 yes, then sir. i'm i'm happy to play bishop g4 this system you don't even need to put your queen on c7 uh, my plan is that i will go e6 and i will go d5 and i will put sir but i thought uh, the point of queen c7 is to go e5. i understand but you are wasting a lot of time in the opening and uh, this is not how you play uh, in general in the opening for example let's say c6 now i play say c4 you play queen c7 i play knight c3 you play e5 knight f3 this is already a position which is good for white okay or i would say you go to knight c3 queen c7 f4 and again it's not so simple for you to to play this position i mean look at the moves you have made is not controlling the center developing your queen uh sir but i still can go e5 anytime yeah you right? can play e5 but let's let's say uh, how can i take advantage of this for example can i play um, there are few things one is knight f3 is one idea i can think of here the other one is a little bit sir then i can go bishop yeah, g4 let's take take and take let me see what what happens here i don't know if this is good but because my plan is if you take here i want to play knight f3 yes sir maybe you can go knight d7 
try to take this with the pawn or maybe we can just go uh, So knight of three, bishop yeah, g knight of three, pawn. and then I'll just hit the. Okay, knight. let's go bishop e three. Uh, knight d seven. Yes, my young, uh, I will, I will take you in the next uh, after this. Sorry for removing you. I was not aware. Uh, yeah. What will you play? Knight of six. Yeah, or knight d seven. Okay, let's go knight d seven, bishop d three. Uh, yeah, let's play h3. Uh, bishop into knight. Okay, takes, takes. Uh, uh, maybe bishop. E7. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very scared about this position in general. Like, let's let's look at it in a way where uh, you are passive. You don't have the bishop pair. I have two bishops. I have the center. I mean, if you are going to play against any strong player. You will be really uh, your back will be against the wall trying to play this. I mean, the question is why do you want to play this passive position? Like it's not like passive. Like any other opening is not suiting me. Like, <laughs> like e four, e five is like like completely out of order. Why? Why? Why you, want, you don't want to play? Tell me. See what you are doing. Like what you are doing, uh, Shrikant, is you are actually playing e4, e5, but just with adding d6, c6, queen, c7. <laughs> you are, you are just. Sir, but then playing e4, e5 is like scary. So uh, many different types of d4 and then knight f3 and then so many types. of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So many different types of traps and. But but tell me, what do you want to do? Do you want to keep surprising your lower rated opponents, or you want to improve at chess? So if you want okay. to improve, then you need to try. You need to play decent openings, which will withstand. See, uh, in d6, c6. Imagine you getting this position here. This is if I start even an engine right now, it will tell at least an advantage of one point for white. Okay, I I have never seen it, but I am just starting the engine, and you will see that it shows not one, two plus two. Can you see? What is plus yes, two? Plus two means you are two pawns down. Two pawns up. Yeah, <laughs> it's like down. playing something which is so bad, like g4. It suggests next move g4 g5 that you are going to be crushed against any good player. But now let's imagine you are playing some 1200 rated opponent or you are playing some unrated opponent. You will do well because they are not going to play ambitiously. What they will do is. They will play knight f3, you will get e5, they will play bishop e2, you will play knight f6, castles, bishop e7, you will go bishop g4 and you will get a playable position but whenever you will play against a strong player, you will always get into trouble. Sir, but my question is like, what is the, uh, if you go g6, bishop g7, what is the big difference between this opening and king's India? Okay. Like it's so, almost so, same, so the, right? Uh, the difference is that you are wasting time with queen c7, c6. While in King's Indian, you are using that time to. First of all, this is e4, so that's a big difference. But let's say uh, d4, knight f6, c4, g6, nc3, bg7, e4, d6, knight f3, castles, bishop e2, e5. You will see that all the moves that black has made are developing in nature. That's why King's Indian is a playable opening from that sense. Because if you are going to put in moves like say here uh, c6, bishop e2, queen c7, castles, e5, you already spent so much time in making these moves that white is going to get an advantage. How? I can prove it to you by making some moves here, trying to think, but overall playing this system takes a lot of time and any good Kings Indian player will never spend time on playing c6, queen c7. They will directly strike in the center with e5 or c5. Yes, so sir. that is one of the main difference that you are playing is very passive e4, d6, d4, c6. And I, I don't like this. Basically, I can go f4, you know, and I want to attack. So I know you have a very specific problem in this opening.
but my problem is this opening itself that this opening i don't like for black i can even yes, i can you know i used to play this by the way it's not like uh, i'm i'm so what i used to do is i used to play knight f6 knight c3 and c6 there was a period where and there was this one dvd called foxy openings i used to see that and uh, it actually helped in that it was given it's called some kind of a check perk you see i have played at least 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yes, 11 12 13 14 15 games and i've even beaten a gm with it so but over the years with experience i have realized that what i was playing only delayed my chess improvement because this opening didn't help me to get decent positions yes sir so my my suggestion to you is uh, shrikant go to go to the uh, youtube channel of chess base india okay go here and go to yes, uh, improve your openings with sagar sha okay this is uh, this yes, sir i have been following that following yeah that. and go to episode number 12 which is e4 e5 for black part 1 part 2 part 3 and go all the way to all the episodes that you see and try to understand this opening and start yes, playing e4 e5 Will you do yes, that? Sir. I know that you are scared right now yes, because there is too much theory in e4 e5. Also, a lot of uh, games are there. A lot of strong players know. But play it for a few days, and you will become. You will have much better games, much better results, much better understanding of chess than you ever had by playing d6 c6 queen c7. Yes, sir. Sir, and what about d4? you can find an opening kings indian nimzo indian even i in this opening series here i have actually looked at uh, nimzo indian here starting uh, from here so you can actually yes, if it suits your style go for nimzo indian do you yes, like sir. this d6 c6 queen c7 e5 lines Yes, sir. Because like I was uh, stuck at around one thousand, one thousand one hundred PD rating, and then uh, I switched to this, and then that's how I. But you like it, right? You like the structure. Yes, sir. Sir, because like you don't have exactly. to know any opening theory. Now like, it's just there, and then the middle game is like simple. Now you like, study e four e five because it's similar structure, and you will reach from thirteen hundred to sixteen hundred in chess. even further yes, you may go even further than that okay sir sir and i had one more doubt but shrikant uh, like, first uh, tell me first tell me what i suggested to you will you do that or will is it just yes you are saying yes right now and after the call ends you will be like no i have to play d6 c6 queen c7 Sir, like look, uh, into the I'm going e4, to check e5. your games in tournaments. Yeah, what did Shrikan start playing e4 e5 or not? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. All right. Oh. Sir, and uh, while playing online, like, is it okay to uh, put music and play? Like, that's a really. It depends. Like, like for example, I see some people are able to focus better with music. Some people are not. What happens to you? does are you able to focus well when the music is on or are you just getting distracted yes, sir because like if the situation like becomes tense and all like the music is just there okay. for the calming and you are you a person who gets habituated to something for example if the music is there and you get habituated to it while playing chess then when you go to a tournament actually You, there can be no music you know they don't allow you to wear uh, uh, so then if you get used to let's say you get stressed and music helps you to come out of that stress during a game and you can't do that during a tournament then i would say that if your aim is to play in tournaments and play well then you should prepare from that point of view for example yes, uh, let's say you are going to give an exam Uh, and you are uh, studying for it let's say, what, what are you studying right now uh, sir uh, commerce is not 11 and so in that if you have to go to the exam and write basically 
uh, and you say oh but music really helps me to concentrate and you are listening to music while uh, you know at home but during the exams they don't allow you then basically you are just uh, fooling yourself in a way so uh, be very clear about why you want to listen to music if chess is fun for you and you want to not go and play in tournaments and just relax yourself music is fine because you know it helps you to calm down but if you are preparing seriously like after lockdown i want to play in three events i really want to do well then i say yes, don't listen to don't do things which you ca cannot do in the tournament it's like okay, it's sir. like you prepare from the point of view of tournament everything you do like if you're solving positions you see like oh if i go and play in the tournament i need to focus hard and in that way you can replicate what you are doing at home in the tournament much easier yes sir okay shrikant thanks for for joining in and uh, yeah, good luck you so for much, you yeah. Uh, I was always yeah. very scared of playing main lines. I always used to find side lines because I realized that I can prepare it very quickly and my opponents won't know it. But then I realized that class is class. You know, like if e4, e5, e4, c5, e4, c6, e4, e6, these are good openings because for a specific reason, because there's a lot of theory in it only because it's a good opening. And you need to begin at some point, do it today. I, I guarantee you that at some point later you will you will be uh, happy that you started this sooner than later. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much, Bye. Sir. Uh, bye, sir. Hi, Mayank. I'm sorry I had to remove you from the this because in the queue your name was not shown but now I can see you. Uh, uh, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. Yes, I joined. Wow, you joined at four. You are awake yeah. since four o'clock. Oh. Yeah, I have my school, but I, uh, my mother told me that you can take holiday in school this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I told her, so she told when you take one of the events, I take them first journey. So I you took a leave from school? Really? Yeah. But uh, I will for Dr. Chess? Yes. Yeah. My uh, I'm sorry I had to remove you and I'm glad that you are back here. So tell me, uh, how can I help you? How old are you first of all? Um, 13. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from Devnath. Where? Devnath, Devnath. Dev. Uh, oh, Devnath, you are just close to me. You are like half an hour away. I live in yeah. Ghatkopar and you are in Devnath. Okay. Tell me, how yeah. can I help you? Mm. First yeah, of all, how, how strong are you? What's your rating? No, you are unrated. Okay. So, uh, E4, E5. Bishop C4, Knight F6 and One second. Sir. Let In me that, let I me pull up the chessboard and by the way, uh, Mayank, uh, is there a mic to your earphones? Uh, yeah, sir. Um, Somehow your voice is a little bit uh, muffled. Uh, it is not very clear. I don't know why. One second. Let me increase your volume. Can you say something, Mayank? Say hello, hello. Yeah. Hello, okay, sir. Fine. Hello. Should be okay. Hello. Let's see. Should I do watch stream? Should Can I you see my screen? screen? Yeah. Click on watch stream. Uh, Can you see the yeah, chessboard? Sir. Okay, fantastic. Yes, yes. Tell me what what is your problem? So e four, e five, bishop c four. Knight f6 and d4, sir. Knight f6 and? e4. This is some okay. gambit. d4, sir. okay. Ah. Yeah, so after this, uh, I get confused a bit. Means, uh, should I play d6 or should I take? So that is okay, the problem. Very interesting in question. This, uh, this is some sort of a gambit, I know. So the 
first move that comes two moves that come to my mind is not d6 because d6 is like um, passive so i want to take yes, on d4 or i want to take on e4 these are the two moves which come to my mind in the database sir there is a game between adiban and sindhu adiban has played this gambit on bishop c4 and d4 one and somebody has defeated okay. him let's see adiban. let's see what the database suggests so database says that you must play here uh, e into d4 is uh, scoring well for black uh, knight into e4 doesn't do so well because after knight into e4 d into e5 somehow this knight is kind of misplaced maybe queen d5 is coming next attacking both these uh, pieces okay so let's let's take e into d4 now what do your opponents play after this So knight knight three. three. Okay. Uh, do they play e five here? Anyone? Yeah, yeah. E five. But e five is always in such positions. Uh, my my young, you have a very common reply when the yes. bishop is on c four and he plays e five. Can you guess what? D five. Absolutely, so d five. And this is how you get a good position because next move, let's say he moves his bishop away. Where can he go? Uh, because if he takes on f6, I take on c4, and this is already better position for black. Okay, mm -hmm. so if he plays, say something like um, I don't know, maybe bishop b3, then I can actually jump in to e4 with my knight. And you see, I've got this move in, and my knight is safe. He can't go f3 because of queen h4 check. And there is trouble like yeah. g three. What do you play? Very like, good. Like Very good. Like you're like strong. Like you're strong. Sir, but I was asking when we play a d five, yeah, bishop b three. Then when we play knight e four, then can't he take uh, the pawn? Yes, he can. With his queen? He's, he he's can. But let's say the point is he's now developed his queen too soon, uh, and we can already. Think of ways to take advantage of this one move, which I can see immediately creating issues is bishop c5. Yeah, we can't take because this is hanging. F7 if is suppose he takes queen d5, I can take, take, and knight f2, and you are already losing the rook. So Oops. I have a feeling that this is not so good, uh, and if you uh, instead of uh, let's say sorry uh, bishop b3 knight e4 if he can't take then you can actually play c5 next move or you can even just develop knight c6 bishop e7 castle simple so i'm going to see e into d4 knight f3 but now uh, you know we have actually transposed into after knight c6 we have transposed into e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 knight yeah. f6 d4 this line which is one of the main lines in this opening and i think uh, here e5 is the main move and sir sir in this position uh, before e5 if y plus c3 then what okay, is the if move? you play c3 what do you e3. think should be the move here so no, because if we take on c3, then some threats are there according to me, like queen b3, yeah. because yes, absolutely. Queen. So let's see what you can do. What would what would be the good move here? So does d5? Yeah, but d5 is just e into d5 might be slightly unclear. I would say that whenever you get a chance to pick up this pawn. And there is nothing much happening. Why not? Because if yes. he goes queen e2, I can play d5. Hitting the bishop yes. and also saving my knight. So, uh, plucking this pawn on e4 is actually a big thing for you. I'm, I'm sure that uh, uh, here, see, black scores really well. All, all moves are better for black. So, uh, c3 doesn't work in such positions there are two main moves one is e5 and the other one is castles 
in fact to even castles here in this position you must take the pawn yeah, because yes and after rookie one. one what do you do no no you will lose a free no, knight no, no. Yeah, oh, okay possible i don't know bishop e7 yeah. rookie 4 does that work because then i go oops sorry rookie 4 d5, d5. yeah but d5. i think uh, the problem is <coughs> rook into e7 check and he gets two pieces for a rook and then he moves his bishop away or bishop into d5 sorry uh, and he's just two pieces for a rook so i don't think that works but d5 And next move, if you if you're going to move your bishop away, I'll just play bishop e7 and castle. And I have a very nice position. So how can white create some some problems here? Is there some way in which white can create problems for his opponent? Yeah, um, knight g5 if you play the knight okay let's see knight g5 seems like an interesting move um two two options one is what after d into c4 how with the rook okay with the rook can i go bishop e7 is this okay for me Yeah, you can, you can I think uh, if I get next move bishop f5 then I can kick this knight away and then I can castle it might be good you have to be only aware of queen h5 if it works or not but I don't think so maybe just g6 I, I don't see how this is a problem so I think here the main move would be bishop into d5 And then I would take queen takes and he would play knight c3. Because I can't, I can't take with the knight, it is pinned. I can't take with the pawn because queen takes queen. And it looks very scary. You know, all these systems in e4, e5 look very dangerous because, because you are behind in development, king is in the center. But if you know what to do, these are not so dangerous systems. You know, here... I believe that there is a very good move uh, for black and that has not been played more much I think it's queen d7 if he takes you go bishop e7 and next move when you castle it will be a good position for you so let's say bishop g5 I castle you take on e7 I take with the queen, you take on d4, I take back with the, uh, I play here bishop d7 and this position is equal. Now you may ask me, oh, but you know, I have uh, so many things I should know, but this is all you need to know. Once you know this, your opponents cannot fool you basically in this position. I don't know if bishop d7 is the best move, but you can check out. I think knight into d4 according to some players is better like knight d4 queen d4 mm. bishop d7 knight into c6 and bishop into c6 the number bishop yes that is true but here maybe take take rook d8 and then queen c3 you can go b6 something like this and then put your bishop here somehow the knight doesn't have any good discovered attacks right now because the queen uh, mm -hmm. controls all these squares so i think uh, it's it's a perfectly fine position for you so uh, there's also for example here this uh, Nakmanson gambit or something if I'm not wrong uh, which is I think castles knight into e4 and knight c3 is that true 
I just keep forgetting this Nakmans and Gambit all the time. Yeah, this is the one. And then everyone is like, oh, if you take with the pawn, then bishop into f7 is a big problem because takes and wi this wins. And there are a lot of videos on this. But I believe that after knight into c3, b into c3 and d5, this is already a play very strong position for uh, white uh, for black. He will just go bishop e7 and castle next to. Shrest Bansal says, what if knight c5 after queen d7? Yeah, good question Shrest. Uh, if castles knight e4, rook e1, d5, bishop into d5, queen into d5, knight c3, queen d7, knight into e4, bishop e7, now knight c5. I believe there can be many ways to combat this, but most natural looks queen d5. Attacking the knight. And then if you save your knight somehow, I don't know how, let's say knight d3, then I can just castle. And I think a uh, very nice position for black. I love it. You know, you should always remember you have the bishop pair here. So it gives you small. And so after bishop g4, uh, white has to also... Yeah. We can really true, structure. True. Structure that is structure, true. Right? And by the way, we have Jamil in the chat. Uh, Jamil, hi, welcome to the show. Uh, and Jamil has actually uh, said about, uh, made a video about Nakmans and Gambit. And he mentions that here, knight c3, knight c3, bc3, d5 is equal. But I am not sure if it's equal. Let me check what the engines say. I have a feeling that black should be slightly better, no? Yes, see? At the depth of 51, it is giving 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 for black. So I have a feeling that <laughs> Jamil, slightly better for black. I feel so. Do you agree with me? Very slightly. Bishop e7. Uh, what do you do? Now, maybe uh, knight d4. Then I can play bishop d7. And I, I would prefer playing with uh, black pieces here. Also, the engines prefer it very slightly. So if you're playing, I'm yeah, and, and in general, if you're playing with the white pieces, you don't want to land up in such a position where you have no hope for an advantage. And also it's, it's based on a trick. And I always uh, tell everyone who follows my streams that be careful of trying for tri tricks, because if your trick does not work, then you may land up in a bad position. Okay, Mayank, do you have, do you have more questions? Do you, yes, did I solve your questions? Okay. Like what I was trying to, e4, sir, e5, uh, bishop, c4, knight f6, I d4, you take on e4 here. Sorry, sorry. You don't take on e4, e4. If you take yeah. on e4, d into e5 is strong. So what you do is you take on d4 here. If he plays e5, what do you do? Yes, d5. And if he yeah, plays d5. knight f3, what do you do? No, no, no. Knight here into knight into e4 may not be the best. Because if you play knight into e4 here, um, maybe queen into d4 looks good. Attacking the knight. I would prefer that if you played knight c6 first here. And then after he castles, you take here so that he can't take on d4 very quickly. And then you play d5. And so before castle, if he uh, takes or d4, then between hmm? Hmm? before castles, uh, before white castles, if he takes yeah. on d4, yeah. tell me what would you play here? Let's think. So I have seen yes, uh, but bishop, bishop c5. c5. Why not snatch the pawn now on f e4? Is it bad? Yeah, let me see it. does this work here now because next move i want to play d5 hit your bishop bishop e7 and castle yeah queen into d5 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. One second. Let me see. Queen e2 because d5. I have a feeling bishop b5 might be a problem. Uh, and then your next move is f3. But hey, hey, hey. One second. One second. Can we not just take this guy? If queen e2. It's a free piece. If you take here, I play queen e7. And then exchange the queens. So tactically everything yeah. works. Mayank, all that. Do you have uh, chess base and mega database? So then you can always search for games in any move that you play. See, suppose you play online, you have a game where your opponent took on d4 and then you played something. Then after the game, you can go to reference and check. Oh, look, knight into e4 is scoring 36%. This is always from white's point of view. 36 is a very low score means it's a good line for black. And I think it works really well. Like uh, what castle? Uh, you can go d5 already, then bishop e7 and castle. Okay. So yeah, I usually play the London system mm. and go Lucas. I don't go for you the usually... So okay. and then in the London system. With white? Yeah, d4 and yeah. If we play d4, knight f6, bishop yeah. f4, g6, yeah. bishop g7. So how to attack on the king's side? I mean, it is very difficult for me. Mm. To it's a tough question, actually. It's not easy, but I would say that after uh, g6 here, you can actually uh, think about playing the Jobawa system. I don't know if, if you know that. Like, uh, usually you play e3 here, right? in this position yeah knight yeah, f3 knight but f3, here so to g6 that. there could be an idea with knight c3 so usually in when black plays d5 i play d4 d5 knight f3 uh, is, is, one uh, second is this is, is this question c6, solved so after I, knight c3 uh i think the the thing is yeah, if he goes bishop g7 you can go e4 and this is known as the 150 attack i think some kind of a name where you play queen d2 and sometimes h4 h5 you long castle you try to play aggressively and if he if he plays a move like d5 here then uh, i i am not sure but even here queen d2 is a possible move queen d2 bishop g7 and already bishop h6 you can check this out actually. You may see Jobawa playing this a lot of times. See Grishchuk, Artemiev, Ponomario, Jobawa. So many players. You can check some games. So that might. Yeah. And when the pawn is on e6 or d5, the pawn will on d5 e6. So the knight on g1 can uh, be comfortable yes. on e5. e5 also, Eventually, your knight will make way here. But the point of. Uh, playing knight c3 quickly yeah. is to force him to go d5 because if he doesn't go d5 and if he plays normally with bishop g7 you will get this uh, interesting line called the 150 attack i think there were many or it's called the english attack a lot of english players used to play this okay Yeah, you can play uh, i think h4 h5 you need to check some games i'm not a big expert at this but we can have a look at some games like for example let's say nihal sarin has played this uh recently i mean he, he maybe he didn't play it the best because it was just a blitz game but we can just see like he castled c6 f3 yeah he went for this idea which you mentioned uh, and then he broke in the center. I mean, you can check every game h4 he played here and then he attacked. Nice game, I would say. There may be many more games that you can see. Because you have the chess base and mega database. You can just put in these moves and then click on reference and see search these games. Okay? Yes. Yes. Any more questions, Mayank? No? No, sir. What will you give? Oh. No, no. You I have the woodpecker book. Are you solving it? Yeah, yeah. 
do you have like uh, an online rating Yeah, I play on Leeches. I'm about nice, nice, very good. 50. Keep it up, and will you play tournaments after the lockdown? Did you start getting interested in chess in the lockdown or before only? Uh, yeah, so more interested in lockdown. I usually started playing last year, May June. So very good. I was very so who are you year. learning from yeah. right now? Chess. Who 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 teaches you all these ideas and everything? Uh, I have a song about Indian. Murugan sir. Okay, fantastic. Very good. Keep it up, uh, Mayank. I'm very impressed that you bunked school today to be on Doctor Chess. I hope it was useful for you. Yes. So, but the school in school now today we have only three periods, so that is uh, why. I understand, but if tomorrow the teacher asks you why you didn't come to school, what will you say? Yeah, so I have put in my that school group only that I won't be able to join today. She told, what have you okay, said? take care. I ah. told I can't join today. Um, the absent today. Okay. I didn't give any reason. She is under. But what if that, your teacher okay, watch, is a is a chess lover and watches Doctor Chess? Okay, fine. I can also tell you that. <laughs> I love chess. Very nice, I man. Love chess. Good, I good. Keep it up. Uh, keep up your love for chess. If you have any questions, you can uh, come on Doctor Chess next time as well, and you can also write to me at chessbaseindia at gmail dot com. Uh, keep your uh, enthusiasm going for chess, and all the best. Okay. Bye. Yes, thank you. Bye. Okay, this was very nice, Mayank. Uh, here, let's go to uh, the queue and check who's next here. Rakshit Singh. Oh, nice, Rakshit. You have been waiting since a long time. I know, and I would be very happy to have you here. Hello, Rakshit. Can you hear me? Hi, Rakshit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay. Hi, how are you? Jamil in the yes, chat says fine. Rakshit OP. <laughs> well, tell me, tell me, Rakshit. Uh, you so the story I know about you is that you are in twelfth. Or you are in uh, you you have cleared twelfth. You yes. are in twelfth. You are trying to get into a good college. Uh, you want to yes. become an engineer, I guess. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, you started following yes. chess in the lockdown, and you got very interested by it. And you have been learning, yes. and you are improving. And I think you are close yes, to thirteen yes. hundred elo, fourteen hundred, yeah. something like that. Yes. Yeah, but uh, I don't have a elo rating. Thirteen hundred. Online, yeah, yes, yes, yes. My rapid rating is actually fifteen hundred, and uh, it's is the twelve hundred okay, ninety. Uh, how can I help you, Rakshit? Uh, so when I uh, suppose I play the English opening, and I see that my bishop is developed, uh, my I have a good pawn structure, like everything is fine. But then I don't see, uh, especially in the English, like there's, it's very difficult to find an attack. And uh, yes. sir, can I share a PGN with you yes. so I'll be able to tell you where exactly. Uh, so how do I how do I send the send PGN? Sir, should I mail it to you? Uh, it is yeah, a file. It. Okay, okay let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if I can. Oh, there's an audio lag i think it's fixed now uh if you guys can just confirm rakshit you can say something oh uh, sir i sent the pigeon to you okay 
on on your on discord yes yes uh, but i can't find let me see Mm. Ah, yeah, here it is. Okay, let me check. Okay, Doctor Chess Game Two. Uh, this was a game like after seeing uh, Jamil's ideas, I was uh, trying to, you know, I was very impressed that I will sacrifice something and. You know, get an attack, and I played a horrible move, but the opponent blundered, so I won. But uh, I like I didn't like the opponent was better in most of the time, but I just don't know where I went wrong. Okay, let's see how is the game. Uh... Can you see my screen, Rakshit? Yes, yes, I can. Fantastic. Today this screen share is working like a charm. Uh, every day, you know, like no, yeah. I can't see. I can't see. Okay. Uh, so c4, c5, knight f3, d6. By the way, yeah, did you see the the video with Stembuliak on English? Yes, yes, I saw that. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. The, the 4 p.m. one, right? Yes. So he, yeah, there he suggested, uh, okay, e3 is fine. d4 is good. Bishop e2 is good. I would I would play d5 here, gaining more space. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I realized that when I saw that. But it's okay. Bishop e2, e5, and now d5. Okay. Okay. Uh, also here, I mean, after Stembuliak's uh, session, I would be very interested to see what happens after D, E, D, E, castles for the main reason that this square is weak. You know, your knight can jump here. Yes. So, mm. it's it's a possibility. Uh, but anyway, D5, knight E7, castles, knight F6, E4, very good. This is all good. I would say his bishop is thoroughly misplaced on this uh, square. Yes. You know, whenever such a position comes, the first move that comes to my mind is to reposition this knight here. I feel it's like a misplaced knight. Okay. So how can you reposition it? Maybe knight d2 and then knight b3. Yes, but then your knight is not so well placed here. What's the scope here? It's just hitting pawns, you know. It's uh, it's not doing much over here. So where where is a good Maybe spot? After... Mm. It won't do anything on knight g5 also. Yeah, knight g5 also, you, you will just get kicked back with h6. The idea be, I, sh I should just take it to the queen's side and advance a3, b4, yes, exactly. maybe. Exactly. So this is one plan you have. Sometimes you can even yeah. go f4 if, if he is lagging behind in development. So where will be the knight best placed for b4 and f4 breaks? Maybe knight c2 after knight e1 and then knight c2. Yes, but knight e1 better is and I think the best square is d3. D3, yes. Okay. And yeah. the knight is very well placed here and this this always yeah. comes to my mind first. Although I'm play or not, I feel the knight here would be better placed here. And so something like let's yes. say uh, knight e1, bishop g7, knight d3 and then if he castles, I could very much think about playing directly b4 as well uh yes, yes i know that after cb knight b4 i am weakening this square and his knight can sit here but you know maybe i can play a4 a4 a5 at the right moment or i can be very patient okay. and go a3 and i like that i guess it's positionally mm -hmm. more sound you want to play b4 next move i'm always a little yes. bit concerned about playing f4 because let's say after uh, let's say instead of a3 you go f4 takes takes this bishop opens up but very specifically in this position it could be good because if you get in e5 next yeah. move, 
then your pieces just uh, are very powerful this is a passed pawn this bishop is closed here yes so all in all it is a very i would say when you play a move like f4 you get yourself active pieces but at the same time you give your opponent active pieces and this is something that i always am a little bit concerned about but if you go for a3 b4 ideas it's like black is still boxed in and you are furthering your plan yes. so this is always a very interesting uh, way to way, way to continue yes yeah so uh, uh. i think this is a good plan 91 93 anything else that uh, i can think of maybe instead of 91 93 wasting two moves i can immediately go a3 with the idea of b4 yeah so your move bishop g5 bishop g7 and queen a4 check i think it's a little bit disjoint what are you trying to achieve even i don't know now looking at the game i think a3 b4 was a better idea yeah because let's say he played knight d7 you went knight b5 oh you're threatening him to mate okay what if i played queen d7 here maybe better yeah queen d7 i know you have an idea with yeah. uh, knight b5 and next threat is uh, mm -hmm. knight into d6 because the queen is pinned but i'll just castle yeah and i think uh, i'm okay here yes i think it's a equal position here I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, because uh, first of all, e4 might be hanging. Second of all, a6 mm, is coming. Okay. I don't know. In general, uh, you have lost your uh, advantage of the opening. I think because of this queen a4 yes. check. But anyway, let's let's move ahead. Queen b8 is a is I think the only move to defend d6 takes. And now, I know you have broken his castling here, but. Yes. How to take advantage because he's going to go rook e eight, king f eight, king g eight next. So you ha you don't have much time. Yeah. Now here I I didn't know like I was uh, I was blank. I didn't understand what to play here. I couldn't see any attack, and I have now when I look at the game, I think I played h three, and I don't understand what was the idea behind it. And this is just a, like very horrible move I played. Now, now when I look at my game, sometimes like uh, my previous games, I don't understand why I let certain moves because I think I am not thinking much in the middle game. But here, I really didn't see any but attack. But H three is coming. just H three is just pointless. Like even if you want to make a pointless move, yeah, it is. It is. Uh, develop a rook to e one, <laughs> or uh, get your rook to d one, or rook to c one, or play a three yeah. with the idea of b four. You know, there are many pointless moves. But H three is the king mm -hmm. of pointless moves. Most <laughs> yes, yes, I know. So maybe it's uh, this is this is one of the issues which you should solve. If you don't get a move, what to play? Then you think. I don't know what was the time control of this game. Fifteen minutes. So you had you must have had some time on the clock right now. When I finished the game, I had I think thirteen minutes on the clock. Like I was playing very fast. I don't so, know why. <laughs> so that explains H three. I I would yeah. say that I want to make make. Uh, this king uh, take advantage of this king in the center so I want to find out a way in which I can do that can you think of ways maybe knight knight g5 and then I play at 6 what's your plan then uh, knight knight e6 okay okay if I take I, I mean, this might be worse than h3, giving up a piece. I like your, I like your bravery, but I don't think it works here. Yeah, it, it won't I know work. What, I know what you have in mind is that if I take here, you want to give a check and then pick up this knight yes. and then give some discovered check here. But I'm not forced to take this pawn on e6. I can just move my knight away. And I think... Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Nothing much. Black is better. Yeah. Mm, I'm thinking that here maybe we could we could launch an attack but we could also play the same plan with uh, knight e1 rook e8 
knight d3 king f8 and then now i can think of maybe f4 like moves but you know what uh, rakshit i don't like about this position is i gave up a very important bishop on g5 and now every time yes. i try to play f4 this bishop becomes a complete monster on the dark <coughs> squares yes so uh, this thing which you took here although it looks very nice if you can't do something now at this moment he might just be better you know black may get a big position so yeah maybe it's again logical to just go with your with your steady plan with this here it's to be for us i definitely feel yeah maybe this yeah this should be okay or or let's see one second he should go rook d8 i think not rook e8 because then rook d8 defends his knight and then like this anyway let's let's look at the game h3 yes. a6 knight c3 queen c7 knight g5 okay h6 ah you you were like and now i okay. because i thought uh, f4 and then i bring the rook into the game and jamil this is all your uh, because of you people are uh, sacrificing pieces <laughs> okay i my question is uh, to you i have not seen the game but let's say you play f4 which you did in the oh you didn't play f4 you played this say you go f4 and i play king g8 how how are you going to launch an attack uh pawn takes but pawn takes is just knight e5 also here f4 i i don't see i mean for example king g8 maybe bishop g4 you gain a tempo here but i can just go knight f6 check king here and then yes you are a piece down but and and the king is pretty safe yes. here mm. so yeah this sacrificing this piece and playing bishop g4 he went knight f8 okay you wanted to uh give a check here on e6 okay so knight f8 stops stops yes. your check which is good f4 and he played h5 oh what if he went king g8 i think here uh you would be struggling for compensation yeah, if he went king g8 i didn't yeah if he went king g8 it was i think over for me he made a blunder and that is how i got it and then you took king e7 and now yeah now this makes sense uh can you do e6 here yeah. oh you took ed6 fine i was thinking if you can do e6 so that if he takes your bishop you can go rook f7 check and pick up the queen yeah. i don't know this looks strong yeah e e6 is i think better i i don't know i have to check carefully but bishop e6 now he took took queen takes you jumped in okay he took here okay maybe here he could have go gone king d8 maybe is it good but already yeah, already i am feeling a lo uh, lot of uh, stress here for uh, i don't know for black because but let's see because i ha i was thinking rook d1 is strong but he always has this check blocking okay yeah. when, when i checked this position in the engine i think it was equal yeah no, this yeah. position i think white is slightly better possible but now i think after taking you should be better i don't know check yeah but then i think he just did a mouse slip or something ah he gave up the he queen. won the he game the but if he does this check yeah bishop e5 queen yeah c6 okay queen c6 interesting okay this is some some analysis which you have done uh, but yes yes but i think uh, rakshit 
very important was this moment here when you had to come up with a good idea and i believe that playing a3 with the idea of b4 would have been nice b4 is also yes, knight okay. e1 knight d3 is a good uh, always uh, regrouping move in such structures yes okay yeah uh also like uh, just when i picked up chess i could there there were days when i gave five four five hours to chess but uh, now that my competitive exams are like nearing and uh, i can't give so much time to chess so like, if i'm giving one hour to chess uh, or maybe one and a half hour what do i do in those one and a half hours maybe look at improving chess or do tactics or play a rapid game what should i do i think overall it's very uh, difficult to say what should be done because different things work for different people it's like you go to a doctor and say uh, tell me sir give me some medicines and the doctor will be like but what is your problem in general he can give you vitamins and all which may help you so in general i can tell you that uh, solving tactics regularly will keep you sharp which is very important because if you study yeah. a lot of chess end games strategy and all and then you go to the board and just blunder a piece it makes no sense so my suggestion would be to yeah. to uh, choose any platform like chess based tactics or or online anything you find and start solving uh, tactical positions or you take pick up any book and start solving them and do this on a regular basis it will be very useful Yeah, I'm solving chess based tactics. Yeah, if you if you do every it day. like for half an hour to one hour each day, and then yeah, or maybe they say half an hour and play half an hour a uh, one game, which you then analyze it like uh, we did right now, you will improve. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you are improving. Yeah, I mean, I saw that you you played with me once, and you didn't play so well. But then you played with uh, Samai yeah. uh, on the stream, Samai. and it was a good game at that point. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's commendable what you are achieving. But uh, tell me, uh, wh what exam is coming up for you now? It is. Uh... J exam oh, the IIT. entrance exam for okay, IIT J E yes yes okay i wish you all the best yeah. uh, there are certain chess players who have cracked it uh, i think there were very strong players who have managed to get into iit if you would like uh, i can i can put you in touch with them and you can you can talk with them but i think in general you can you can easily do it yeah uh, just believe in yourself Yeah, uh, and 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 come Hopefully. back to chess soon. Okay, uh, Rakshit, any more questions? Okay, Take sir. Take care and have have a good day. Is this your home in yeah. Bangalore? Okay, fantastic. I mean, I hope I meet you someday. Bye. Yes, sir. Bye. Okay, that was Rakshit. Sharang Pai says hello Sagar and Jamil building a free open source tool to visualize weak and strong squares something i struggle with would love your inputs Sharang i think if you if you build it up some kind of a prototype and then send it to me on chessbase india at gmail or on um, yeah i think it's chessbase india at gmail i'll write back to you uh, and i'll try to give my inputs on the same it's a, it's a interesting thing uh, that you you are developing but to understand what is a weakness is always quite uh, quite dicey in chess it's never simple but then the if it's dicey then the need of such a tool is even more yeah like if someone can explain well what is a weakness okay let's uh, go to the next doctor chess in the queue rishila oh rishila banerji you know guys rishila is the same girl who uh, who was in that video uh, of vidit against magnus carlsen so she is a very famous personality <laughs> let me see let me see if i can right click and move to dr chess okay fantastic 
Yeah, yeah. See the photo here. Rishila with with it. Hello, Rishila. Hi, sir. Big fan. Hello. Hi, Rishila. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Can you keep your camera like steady because it's moving? One. Is it? It's fine now, sir. Yes, it's fine. How are you? And yeah. uh, tell tell me about uh, yourself. We know you from the video of Vidit yes. versus Carlson, where you and your father and mother and all were sitting in the background uh, and, and praying for yes. Vidit to win. And I also know you are a big fan of Vidit. So uh, uh, how how strong are you? And how can I help you at chess to improve? Uh, like. I was playing chess, but then for some like school exams and classes, I uh, had to stop it. And now I'm trying to play again, and I am stuck in like rating one, one one zero plus, like one thousand one hundred plus, and I just like I am facing some difficulties against d four. So like I want to know how to attack against d four. You want to know how to attack against d4? Yes, like uh, any player, like if somebody plays d4 against me, like I'm getting like in a bad position and I'm unable to defend that position. Okay, what do you play now to d4? Uh, I play like uh, d4, d5, and that that stuff. And sometimes I also play d4, knight f6, c4, and e6, like that. D four, knight f six, c four, and e six. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so basically, I have this series on uh, Nimzo Indian, which I have prepared on Chess Base India. Uh, yes. Improve your openings with Sagar. So maybe you can have a look at that if it helps you. But if you want to look at something okay. aggressive. Then maybe it's quite possible yes. that you can play uh, the king's Indian with g6. Seems okay. Okay. Bishop g7, e4, uh, d6. I mean, it's 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 a matter of taste. You know, it's a matter of choice what you want to play. But as you said, you want to you want to attack. Then maybe Nimzo Indian may not be the best opening to attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how how do you learn the king's Indian? That's another question. Like d4, n f6, c4, g6. If you if you see, uh, we have a video with uh, Timur Rajabov in which he speaks about the basics yes. of king's Indian. You can uh, check that out, and then you can later on try to play online and analyze your games. Okay. I usually what I do is whenever I play a game online, let's say uh, I I'll just show you. Can you see my screen, by the way, Rishila? Uh, it's yeah, it's just, yeah, I can see now. D four N F six C four G six. You can see that position. Yes. Okay. So what I do is uh, this is something which will be very useful. Uh, to everyone who is trying to play a lot of online chess but doesn't know what to do with those games you know which you play so let's imagine that I have some games that I have played online okay let me uh, pick that up from my cloud database so play chess dot com and yes say yes. I uh, take this game which was played recently yeah. Okay, and now I play uh, d4 and f6. I'm black here, by the way. Ah, this was my last game that I played. And now, if you see, we make some moves knight c6, knight bd2. And now I don't know what to play here. So I think about it on my own and I think, and then I click on reference. And actually, it shows all the games that have been played in this position before. And then I ask myself, oh, I played queen e7, but b6 is uh, another popular move here. And then I start to understand. And then I see, oh, there's a game of Vaita check Ganguly. So I click on it. 
and then I study that game. What happened? Oh, Ganguly beat Wojtacek in this game. How did he beat him? Let me see. So I go through the game. And then I realize that very interestingly, Ganguly, uh, I think he lost a pawn, but he managed to convert it. I think later on, maybe Wojtacek made a mistake, but I will understand what is the mistake Ganguly made? Like he played c4, maybe dc, bish, knight c4, bishop b7, queen e2. He, should, he shouldn't have maybe played queen e7 here. It's quite possible that queen e7 was a mistake because it allowed knight g5. The point is that after h6, I think what Surya uh, missed is bishop into f6. And if you take with the queen, then knight h7 forks. So maybe it could have been better to start with h6 here. And yes. then if rook d1 or rook fd1, I will play queen e7. And maybe black is doing fine here. I don't know. I have to, I have to analyze this further. But what I'm trying to show you is that from your games, you can see other players games and then you can improve that way. Do you, do you get the point Rishila? Yes. Yes, sir. So don't like, look here, there's another game. Sandeepan versus Ganguly, a3, bishop b7, rook c8 and something like this was played. And I would, I would be very interested to know what further could have been done. I, I believe that here bishop into e5 maybe was not the best. Maybe uh, bishop e7. Does that work here with the idea of knight d6? And I would analyze, you know, I would think and I would look at these games and learn from them. So whenever you play Kings Indian now, whenever you start playing because it's a new opening for you, then what you must do is you must play those games and then analyze them look at what the top players have played and try to assimilate it. Then you go again, play another game, try to assimilate it. In this way, you will keep improving. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Surely. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anything more I can help you, Rishila? Uh, no, this was the question. Thanks a lot. Okay. For helping. Okay. Uh, I, you were very active earlier. You were on all the shows uh, in the first improving chess and everything. But recently you are uh, a little bit, I think you had to study. Yes. A lot. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because like I have exams on 18 to 21st and like online classes. So like my mom is not allowing to sit. Okay, but after the exams, uh, you will follow chess more, right? Of course, like that's that's the plan. Twenty first, your exam is over. Yes. Okay, nice. You will be able to follow the chess Olympiad. It's starting from twenty first of August. Yes. Oh. Okay, yes. that's very nice. Yeah. So, uh, so sure. you can follow that, uh, and there will be live commentary and everything. So enjoy. Yeah. We'll we'll I'll see you. Of course, sir. Okay. Surely. Bye, Rishila. Take care. And say hi Bye, to sir. your parents. You also take care. Oh, okay, sir. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's go to the next person in the queue. Uh, it is Singh Pratap Us. Okay. Singh Pratap. Right click. Move to. Dr. Chess. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Hello, Singh Pratap. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, from the sound, from the voice, I can guess that your age is 12 years. No, 10 years. Oh, I missed it. Can you, can you, can you switch on your video? Yes. Okay. 10 years old. 
Oh, so nice to see you. Hi, what's your name? Shreyas. Shreyas. Singh. Shreyas Singh. Yes. Shreyas, you are wearing school uniform. I see. Yes, because my school is there. Did you also bunk school? No. No. Then right now, isn't no. your school going on? No, my school is at nine forty-five or ten o'clock. Based on how long this call goes, like if it's five minutes, then your school is at nine forty-five. It goes for twenty minutes, then it's for ten o'clock. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice to see you. Tell us about yourself. Where are you from? How did you start learning chess? And what's your strength right now? I am from Guwahati. My papa teaches me chess. and my rating is blades 1600 and rapid at 1575 okay so your father teaches you chess and you already have a good rating i mean that's nice to know is your father a chess trainer no but he just teaches you chess we learn from you only my papa and me learn from you really yes wow thank you thanks for uh, that's very good to know So tell me, uh, what's your chess problem? How can I help you? I don't know the opening from black. What's I what I play? Okay. When? Yeah, but when? Like the opening from black is like huge. I mean, e four, d four, c four, so many moves. Is there something specific or how is it? E four. D four is the problem. E four is a problem. D four D four is a problem. Today, a lot of people have a problem with D four. Okay, so what do you play, Shreyas? I play Nimzo. You play Nimzo? Yes, and sometimes D four. D five. D four D five. You play. Uh, did you follow the series on Nimzo Indian on Chess Base India? Yes. Did it uh, help you, or was it not very useful? Yes, it was helpful. So then, uh, what is the issue? Is it something that I didn't cover there, or what is it? No, you cover everything. Hmm. So if you watch that and if you play, don't you think that will help solve your problem? Our opponent not play like this. Oh, your opponents it... are playing differently. Do you have any game that yes. I can see that I that I can help you with? Yes. Is your is that your father there? Shreyas, I can't. Uh... Hello. hello, hello, hi. I am sending PGN of his. Yes, sir. I am sending PGN of his game. Can you, you send it on this uh, Discord itself? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, send sir. me. Mm. Okay. Mm. Not this. Yes. Mm -hmm. E five K. Sir, Nimzo ne gaya to sir. Uh. Queen's Go one chess trio is here. Go one chess trio is uh, saying Sagar, great work. Keep it going. The doctor series is amazing. Anyway, see you. Bye. Go one chess trio is actually uh, a chess channel uh, by uh, three players: Anurag Mahamal, Nandini Sarapalli, and Neeraj Sarapalli. And uh, Anurag is actually the first GM of Goa. So, uh, guys, if you are looking for good content. follow their channel uh, it's called the go and chess trio and i think it's they they make their videos very well and very tastefully done uh, in fact i would love if some day uh, anurag would come to to the stream and all three of them could join would be nice but uh, great work anurag did you send it yes okay let me see Okay. McQueen nine versus Shreyas. Okay, Shreyas, you won this game. 
No. It shows zero I one. Won. Oh, I think I won. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Oh. Mm. Yes. Can you see the chess board? Yes. What is the move I have made on the board? Mm. E4, D5. Uh, okay. Do you see the moves that are being D5. made? Yes. What was the last move? I'm not sure if you can see it. Mm, I can see. D into C4. He takes okay, C4. Knight C3. Yes. Knight F6. E4. And you played E5. Yes. Okay, very interesting move. Uh, the did did someone teach you this move? E5. Were were you prepared? It was a mouse. It was a mouse slip. But you know, it actually is not a bad yeah. move because if it takes, then after queen into d1, mm. if it takes with the knight, mm. uh, then knight into e4 maybe. And if it takes yes. with the king, maybe you can go knight g4, attacking e f2 and attacking e5. Yes. So I, I don't know if uh, in this position e5 is such a bad move but let me check if there are any games played with this move because i yeah look look actually it's a great move it was a mouse slip but but it's a, it's played in a, around 400 games plus games and it's scoring very well so uh d5 what did your opponent play he played d5 which is logical because if he took then there was as i showed you that could be an issue and now you played c6 again nice move uh, breaking the center he took and now you took on d5 maybe uh, as uh, shown in these lines b5 is a better move here and then if he moves his bishop away then you can uh, further attack his knight with b4 he has to move it away let's say to e2 if he goes and now you can win a pawn i think should work here or maybe you could even think about playing a move like cd5 or bishop b7 in general you this this entire idea with uh, uh, b5 b4 is a good one for you because it pushes its pieces away okay so c6 you played yes. cd that's fine he played ed and now bishop b at my development at my development not yeah, over. I was thinking, uh, Shreyas, if you can put your bishop on d6 here. Do you like that move? Okay. Yes. I was, because, you know, this is a passed pawn and later I can castle and then I can play e4 yeah. whenever required to activate my bishop. Because bishop b4, do you really want to take this knight here? I'm not sure. No. So then, then why to no. develop it there? Maybe you developing it on c5 or d6 may be better. Okay. Anyway, bishop b4, bishop g5, uh, knight d7, okay, knight e2, castles, castles, h6, bishop h4. This all looks good. Queen c7. I I'm a little bit uncomfortable putting my queen on c7. Because later on, he can come rook c1 and attack my queen. So let's try to think about ways in which we can activate our bishop here. Um, we can put the knight on e b7, b6. Yeah, b6. Here, here. But then bishop b3. Mm, and, and bishop to yeah, f5. Bishop f5. Or can we go like bishop g4 also? Just trying to yes. force him to play f3, which may be a small weakness created. Or maybe, as you said, bishop f5 also looks nice. Mm. 
so maybe this is a more active way to continue because you don't know where your queen would be better placed on c7 on e7 so why why to do that let's first move the knight uh, and then put your bishop there okay so queen c7 he went bishop b3 you went a6 stopping knight b5 plans logical he played bg3 here uh, and now uh, you just took here why why did you take that's my problem if i can if i'm seeing that there's the pawn is hanging i i can took it or there is the knight pin and my bishop i can take it i don't know no, why but in general there is not even a pawn hanging because he takes back with his knight and you don't get a pawn as well so this was a very important yes. bishop for you and you could just save it by uh... ah by the way someone mentioned here ooh did we miss it thank you vaibhav suman vaibhav suman for pointing it out this is a blunder did you see it Why? can you tell me uh... should oh yes so oh. just check and you lose yes so so actually bishop b4 which looked uh, wrong to me not uh, tactically but positionally was actually tactically flawed Just check and lose thank you vaibhav for for showing that uh, bishop d6 as was correctly uh, so bishop b4 bg5 and now it's okay the entire position a6 and now i would seriously consider playing bishop d6 here keeping my bishop alive why should i give it up or i may even begin with uh, b5 i know it weakens this c6 square but i want to put my bishop on b7 i want to put my rooks on uh, center and play this position right so taking on uh, taking on c3 is uh, it it's something which you shouldn't do okay shreyas next time when you are going to give up your bishop for a knight yes. have a good reason for doing it is the position closed okay. no the position is not closed is the position the it's kind of semi open so later on bishops will be much better so you took took and now you played knight b6 okay uh d6 looks strong yeah he played d6 queen here how to isn't e5 pawn hanging now he took on e5 okay oh now look see everything just went uh, downhill from here like e5 you lost the pawn then you you ruined your structure i'm very surprised that you actually won this game and uh, one more thing is past pawns should be blocked so therefore this is a better move okay 27 takes yes. takes 94 king g7 okay let's try to finish off the open uh, let's uh, f5 rook c7 okay he's play ooh oh that was the blunder that was the blunder you are very alert yeah yes look at him he's like rook c7 if you move the queen uh, white is better but he actually lost takes takes rook d1 rook d1 f4 and, and now he's a piece up wow what a change of events yes yeah. very nice very nice you are yeah. very alert very good so i think white should have actually just moved his knight uh, somewhere yes yeah. but where oh i have a, i have an idea can you find a good move for white here white to move mm. Mm. rd uh, how to handle a rook end game rook pawn end game uh, rd there are different end games which are different in nature in rook pawn but i would say if you want to learn end games 
and you are somewhere close to let's say unrated to 1200 range and you are trying to improve then Silman's complete endgame course that's a very good book to have it's it's a very nice book explaining all the end games B6. Oh yes, knight to b6. No, knight is here, no? b6 is yes. here. Sorry, sorry, c5. C yeah, knight c5 then queen into b d6? Oh yes. Uh, here, look at checks, captures and threats. Yeah, okay. Checks. Mm, no checks. Captures queen takes pawn. No, no, it's uh, it's white to move. White to move. Okay. You said no knight c5 Text. here. Instead of that, white to move. Yes. Okay. White check. White has queen check. Queen to e4 is the check. And yeah, queen d4 check. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, and you yeah. lose the knight you know this would have been much stronger over here also as ilamparthi points out in the in the chat that after here rook c7 queen into c7 he has an intermediate check yeah. here can you can you spot it let's see if we can find it uh. i'm not sure if it is completely winning but Yes. What move? Queen yeah, D4 queen D4 check. check. And now, uh, let's say uh, if you go king h7. Yes. Uh, still, I think if you take here, then after rook into D4. Uh, yeah. I mean, you are just. No, how is equal. it equal? You are a rook up. Rook. Yeah. Yes. But yes, yes. there could be knight yes. f6 check here, and then I go king g6. Yes. And is this winning? Is this winning yes. for white somehow? Because I am rook up. Remember, so there has to be a mate. Yes. But there is no mate. I don't see it. Yeah, it's not so simple. Maybe some some very brilliant move like knight e8. Does that work? <laughs> because uh, if you take with the rook, then I take your queen. If you don't take with the rook, then I have queen g7 check. Like if you play queen d6, I have queen. Oh, sorry, not queen d6. That would be horrible plunder. If you play queen d7. Queen f6 or queen g7. Yeah. And knight f6. Yeah, this should win. Yes. Maybe this is uh, knight e8. So queen c7, uh, maybe this is a very good position to calculate. You see, uh, Shreyas, from your own game, there is so much uh, material to learn. Like uh, how to win here, queen d4 check looks like the only move. Otherwise, is there anything else that you can do? Trying to be very particular. I like this queen d4 check, king g7, uh, knight f6, king g6 looks like the only move. Yeah, because... Yeah. If you go somewhere else, uh, let's say to h8 or g7, there is 98 check, discovered check, and you lose the queen. So, king, and also here after queen d4, if you went king f8, then what's the move? Queen, queen yeah. to h8. It's a mate, very and good. Mate. And if you go to g8, what's the move? Knight. 
knight to yeah, knight f6 check. check and now if he goes to g7 or h8 yeah. we know that knight e8 check just wins the queen yeah. right so therefore yes. he must go king f8 yes. here yes and uh, does this <coughs> does this work somehow I'm not sure. No. Because if I take here, you will still take the queen and you are a rook up. I'm thinking of checks here, like knight e8 check, one move. Because if he takes with the rook, we know this is a checkmate. If he yeah. takes, uh, if he moves the king away, then we take the queen and we are winning. So he must take with the king. Yes. Once he takes with the king, yes. uh, can we go queen h8 check? But then. And if d d7 and pawn takes queen. Yeah, but then when he goes to d7, pawn takes queen, even your queen is hanging on h8. So how about here, can we go queen e5 check? Yes, we can. If queen, if king to f8 or g, king f8, this is or d yeah, that we know. Uh, yes. I think he must go bishop e6, so, but then we can just win the queen because now our queen was out from the d5. Yes. And if rook into d6 here, then I think we can go queen h8 check, king e7 and take the queen. So actually speaking, your opponent may be winning in all the lines. Let's see. So he went rook c7, you took here and he without thought just recaptured, but he had this check. And now we will try to clean up the variations. What is cleaning up is trying to make sure that all your calculations are correct. King g6 loses to what move, Shreyas? Mm, queen to f6 check on g7. No, no, don't play g7. g7. Queen. queen f6. g7 is not guarded. And now next move you pick yes. up is queen. So king g6 doesn't work. Let's look at king h7. King h7 and uh, sorry first let's let's finish king f8 it's an easy move how to win queen h8 okay next move is king g8 let's try to make so two moves which are very complicated for us are king h7 and king g8 because king g, uh, g6 and f8 are mate so let's look at king h7 Knight it looks like the only check. move to me. There is no other way. Yeah, so check. Now you know that King G7 and King H8 lose to a discovered check, and you lose the queen. So his only yes. move once again looks like King G6. Correct? Because he had yes. these two yes. moves lose, so there is only move. And now the question is. What happens to, you have to spot knight e8, I think. This is a very critical move again to spot knight e8. And it attacks the queen. It actually threatens a mate here. I mean, check on g7. And if you take on e8, you, you win the yeah. queen. So, is there any move that he can play here in this position? I don't see, I don't see how he's going to stop everything, no? Rook d6, I have queen g7 at the least and take the queen. So, maybe he has to play, uh, yeah, this is winning, right? So, yes. king g6, knight e8 is winning. Now, we look at the other move, which is king g8. Because king g8, again, the only move for us is knight f6 check. And now... We know that king h8, king g7 loses, but now king f8. 
So a night to is, that's the yeah. only move, or is there anything Better. else we can do? I was thinking, hey, how is this move, uh, Shreyas? Knight d7 check. Yes. Mm. Knight takes or queen takes or rook takes. Whatever no, you take, takes, whatever you take, I'm going to checkmate you here. Yes. So your only chance is to move the king. Yes. Let's say to e8 or g8. Let's say you go to g8. But now you see my knight has actually blocked this. So I can take your queen. <laughs> yes. Doesn't this look cool? Yes, it's it looks cool. cool, yeah. Yes. Knight d7 check is, I think, a very nice move. I, I may be missing something, I'm not sure, but I, I think it seems very clear that queen d4 check is winning. By the way, uh, Shreyas, what did we just do? Did we check a position yes. in some book? Did we look at it some DVD? Did you see anything in some website or anything? Did we get a position from there? No, we got it from yes. your game. This is your game. You played on 12th of August yesterday and from that game we actually improved our calculation how to calculate variations so that is very important that you look at your own games carefully what we did right now see it's very easy to say hey i will take this pawn i'm peace up and i won i won the game but if you look at it more carefully are white how can white win this game only then you will improve Okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. Shreyas, this is not your school class. You are very serious. Are you afraid of me? No? Then can you tell no. me something? Can you tell me a joke? <laughs> okay. No. Okay. I think you are getting late for school. You had school at 10 o'clock. It's 10 6 now. So, so go on and try to enjoy your school and also make sure whenever you play a game next, try to analyze it well. Okay. Learn from your own games, learn from your own mistakes. And I like the wallpaper in the background. Isn't it, isn't it Sherlock Holmes? No, no, I don't, you don't know. No. It looks nice with this uh, with this carriage and uh, you know the the horse and everything. Um, you you live in Guwahati and I think uh, there are very few strong players who have come out yes. of uh, Assam Northeast place. In fact, no IMs or GMs. And Shreyas, I hope you will be the first one to do it. Work hard, okay? Thank All you. the best. Bye. Yes. Bye. Okay, bye. <coughs> okay, guys, it's 10 o'clock. I would not want to uh, take one more person in because that would be another 15 20 minutes of my time, and uh, that would just overstep our uh, uh, Dr. Chess session. I would like to end it at 10. I think, in general, what we learned today uh, is first of all. A lot of people have problems in openings and whenever they have problems in openings the way they solve it is to take shortcuts they try to see that okay this variation is uh, kind of easy to play there are some traps there are some tricks I will learn it and I will play it I think it's a good strategy to do it for some time but after a point when you want to really improve you need to start doing a proper you need to start learning a good opening and it's very important because many times you can just be stuck in playing some trappy chess tricky chess and then your improvement slows down so like we had one of our first uh, viewers today uh, i think his name was also shreyas i don't remember uh, exactly but when he came to the show he was like i played this opening with e4 uh, sorry, it was yeah e4, d6, d4, c6, and then I put my queen to c7, I put, play my pawn to e5, then I play. You see, 
he actually wants to play his pawn to e5. He could do it very much on the first move with e4, e5. But the problem is that he is afraid of learning chess theory. By the way, guys, chess theory is not very complex. If you try to understand, if you try to understand what's happening, you can slowly grasp it. You can ask, you can check good games of players. But at the right time, you must start learning good openings because it will help you over a long period of time. So that is very, very important. Don't take too many shortcuts. I know that sometimes you want to play some kind of a trappy chess and you want to beat your opponent very quickly. It's good. But don't do it at the cost of your chess improvement. Okay. A lot of people came today and said they want a good weapon against 1d4. And for that, I have... I would recommend this series that I have on the on on openings with Nimzo Indian. I think it's really well made. I put in a lot of effort there. That's why I recommend it. It's uh, actually has a lot of good ideas over there. Um, so please have a look at that. And uh, apart from that, I think it's extremely important to analyze your own games of chess. So for example, right now, I just saved this game with McQueen and Shreyas Rocks. In fact, this could be a very good position to give someone as a test, uh, this one, that white to play. And uh, I, want, I want to check it with the engine, actually, if I was correct in all my analysis. Maybe I was just wrong, uh, but it could be possible that I was correct. Yeah, queen. Oh, everything wins actually according to the engine. Queen f3 is wins. Queen d3 also wins. But let's look at queen d4 check and uh, king h7, knight f6, king g6. And here, according to the engine, the there are many ways to win, but the cutest is h4. Mm, interesting. Because if you take here, then there is this move h5, king g7, knight e8, double check, king f8, queen h8, check, king e7, and knight into c7. Okay. These are all the moves computer comes with. h4, bishop d1 with the idea of bishop h5. But okay, the move which I recommended, knight e8 is also winning. Knight e8, rook e8, and d into c7. The other line which we were looking at is... <coughs> Knight f6 check, uh, sorry, not king h7, king g8. And now knight f6 check, king f8. And now, uh, yeah, knight d7 check is the fastest way to win. Here. Also, I think knight d5 wins here, which is a very cute move because you're attacking the queen. And if you take, I have a check here with a mate. So he has to play king g8 and then I can just pick up this. Uh, queen at the very least but yeah knight d7 also wins uh, with the threat of queen h8 so he must go king g8 and now i can take but okay engine suggests a mating idea with bishop into f7 it's always engines always are able to go for the most how do you say the most uncompromising moves king g8 queen g6 check king h8 check king g8 queen g6 uh, king h8 knight f6 and uh, next move is a mate very soon like for example rook d6 there's queen g8 mate and if uh, yeah the queen has no good square actually if you go to g7 there is mate if you go to d6 there is h7 mate yeah it just wins yeah okay ilam Parthi says no human plays queen f3 ilam Parthi no human plays queen f3 but who knows you know it's it's logical no don't you think so i'm moving my queen away i'm attacking your queen where can your queen go uh, next move for example let's say you go queen d7 i go queen c3 check and then i have knight f6 picking up your queen i mean once you see the move it's logical and that's what actually anand uh, used to say that engines have actually expanded our thought process. No one before would have trusted a move like queen f3 when there is something else. But engines recommend this move. And then you realize that yes, it's quite possible. For example, rook into d6, there is queen g3 check. And then you pick up this rook. You can't block because then you lose the queen. So all of these lines, 
very important engines actually expand our thinking and i'm sure that currently when everyone in this generation says hey queen f3 is very difficult to find actually a few years later a young boy will first move he may consider is queen f3 because the engines have helped to widen the horizon i know checks captures threats is the way you need to think but who knows how we will think in the future so uh prash Pr parashram sony sagar bhai you are a gem please help me to improve parashram i hope that next uh, next week we will meet again on thursday and yes today i think i will try to do an opening stream uh, with uh, a grandmaster who may teach you something in the ruy lopez that's the plan uh, i will not reveal who he is but uh, i have to talk to him if he has time and that would be nice today also i mean i would like sarvanan to join in in one of the sessions and talk about some chess books that he's reading right now he's one of the experts at chess books and i have been in contact with him and this week we want to do a video uh, on that so guys today evening uh, i will see you again if not then tomorrow but thank you all for being here and if you if you were in the queue uh, today like here i can see that there are <clears throat> there are certain people who are in the queue like sujay balbir pragya i'm sorry that you all couldn't make it but we will be there uh, very soon next time i'll try to get you in and um, i was very impressed with how uh, mayank i think mayank was his name he was up at 4 am trying to be there he missed his school to be in this session it's very touching okay guys so end of today uh, i will see you all uh, this is sagar shah signing off bye bye